What's up, everybody? This is Sean Turnage, and I have a story that I'd like to tell about this guy. You all know me, had me scared as hell. <sighs> I like that song. Um, I'm changing up the pace a little bit on y'all. I'm going to tell you guys about a nightmare that I had. And it actually kind of ended pretty awesome, depending on how you look at the glass. You guys are going to learn a little bit more personal information about me, because I'm going to show you my room. With that being started, with that being stated, I am going to start my story. Um, I had a dream about a couple nights ago about me being watched by an apparatus. Now remember, this is all in the dream. I don't want nobody going back and going, well, was he awake in this part? No, I'll let you know when I wake up. So dream started. <laughs> all right, that's the first part. First part of the annotations. And then at the end, I'll go like this if I remember. Anyway, so I had a dream. Okay, I had a dream about an apparatus watching me in my sleep. Now, I'm going to show you guys my room because that's where it takes place and you have to be sleeping to dream. So unless you're daydreaming and you want to be a smart ass. But you got to be, this takes place in my room, so just follow me. Let me turn on the light. Okay. Now, in my dream, once again, I'm laying on my back in the middle. Okay? You see this? See where I'm pointing? I'm laying on my back in the middle. Now, in my peripheral to this right here, to my right, I see a figure in this corner right here. Literally right here. Except in the dream, there's a little bit more space. There's a little thing, my bad. I was looking at the wrong. In this little area right here, there's a little bit more space than what it is now. Okay? So, once again, in my dream, I'm laying on my back and in my peripheral, I see what looks like a figure watching me. Dang, I need to get better with the camera. <laughs> Bear with me, people. Now, every time I look over to the figure, it was. Every time I looked over to the figure, it was the equivalent equivalent of an eye floater. So everybody's had one of those. You think there's something in, in your eye, or you think something's to the you know to the right or left of your eye in your peripheral, but every time you look over, you it's not there. So I guess in the dream it's inferred that I grabbed a camera and watched myself sleep, kind of like in paranormal activity. They want to see if um if there's something actually watching them or there's something actually going on or they want to know if they're actually losing their mind. So in the in the dream that I had, I guess I grab it's inferred because I never actually pick up a camera. It just skips, you know, to the next scene in my dream of me scrolling through photos. Now, there is an actual apparatus watching me in my sleep, in my dream. Um, so in my dream, I'm scrolling through these photos and I don't know why it didn't freak me out that I found out this information. It didn't freak me out until after I saw a certain picture of the apparatus with his eyes all white, basically like scorpions and raidens from Mortal Kombat. And for those of y'all that don't know, I'm not actually gonna get into vivid detail, just Google it. But yeah, so I finally figured out that there is actual apparatus in my dream watching me sleep in my dream. And I'm gonna take you guys back into my room because this is actually vivid detail too. So, turning you guys back to my bed. Now, I am laying right here because after I find out the information, you know, it kind of made things worse. So I'm laying right here on my back. The apparatus, after I find out that, you know, he's actually watching me or there is actually something there, he's laying on his back right here next to me. Yeah, some creepy stuff. Now, he hasn't, you know, he's kind of in the mindset of you're not there. But for some reason, something in me. Yeah, I'm going to turn it back to me. Now, for some reason in my dream, something told me, you know, don't be afraid. So I guess I get stupid after that because after afraid for me, it becomes stupid. <laughs> so... I start egging this, you know, apparatus on. And I was like, if you're going to do something, come on, do something. Don't be in my bed 
and try and scare me. Come on, come on. Basically, I'm trying to egg him on and show myself that I'm not afraid either. So, but the stupid part was I had muscle paralysis and sleep paralysis. So I'm laying in my bed, you know, totally tensed up, looking at this guy going, come on, come on, come on, do something. Come on, come on. I, I see you. Come on. Don't act like you don't see me. Come on, come on, come on. You know, trying to, you know, being, I'm, you know, doing my best to trying to wake up and fight this thing or at least fight back in my sleep. But I can't. So I egg him on. So I'm totally vulnerable in this situation, as you can see. And all of a sudden, after egging him on for a couple seconds, he looks over at me and his eyes white out and he grins. And then he smiles and crawls toward me. And after that, I immediately jolt out of my sleep. I'm done dreaming. I jolt out of my sleep. And I go, yeah, let's get it on. And, you know, I roll over on my knees. So and I'm throwing punches at the bed, you know, and they were throwing. I woke up and I remember they were just going boom, 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 boom. Because, you know, that's the sound my bed was making. It was like, boom, 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 boom. And, you know, it was, you know, all outrage. You know, I knocked over my fan and, you know, I'm screaming. So after a couple seconds, I come to my senses and I lay back down. And all of a sudden, you know, my mom's about to go to work. So, you know, this is around like a certain time in the day or in the morning. So she's about to head off to work. So she comes into my room after hearing the commotion and she goes, what, what, what's the matter? And, you know, me, I'm sitting there trying to catch my breath. And I was like, I had a nightmare. And she was like, you all right? So, you know, I take a couple more seconds because, you know, my heart's. So, you know, I go, yeah, I'm all right. But in a sense, you know, looking back at that little episode, because that's not the first time, you know, I woke up screaming out of my bed from a nightmare. But it is the first time I have become that violent or reacted in that such manner. But I'm actually proud of myself because they say dreams are a manifestation of one's inner self or one's inner self true conscience. So I don't know what, you know, my subconscious was trying to tell me about me being watched by an apparatus, but I was happy that I was not afraid of my own thoughts, basically. That's basically what it was. I was not afraid of my own thoughts. And I chose to fight back. So for that, I'm actually proud of. And, you know, it was it was kind of a crunk scene, to be honest with you, even though I was throwing punches at any nothing. But. You know. I kind of believe that to a certain degree, but, you know, I don't know the true message. I just felt like I had to tell a story because I haven't dropped anything on y'all. But. Once again, I'm actually proud of myself for. Not being afraid of my own manifestations or whatever my mind was trying to tell me. And, you know, if I have to get physical with myself, I guess, then, hey, I do what I have to do. But that's just the story I wanted to drop on y'all. That's it, I guess. Until next time.